Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June, okay? So keep in mind that this reading is for June, so it could resonate at any time in June. So what do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June. I've already done the maze. I will tag them to the end. We got two. What do we have for Virgo? Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. So you're on the road to success. But there is some sort of disappointment. There's going to be. This is for June. You may be in a disappointing situation right now. But, you know, I, I, this reading is for June. I mean, it could resonate now, but keep that in mind. When you have a mountain road, when I see a mountain, I think of hurdles. So you're on the road to success, but I think you may be experiencing some hurdles in getting there. Uh... There is going to be some upcoming disappointment with a friend or a lover. That is in your future, okay? Um, you know, I think that you can overcome it, whatever it is. I think that there's a path. I think that you can get through this, whatever it is. Maybe, you know, tough, okay? Um, but I think that you can handle it. I think that you're going to get there, put it that way. So what do we have for Virgo? Oh. Oh, we got two. The feelings are mutual. Shared values. So it appears to me that you have mutual feelings with somebody that you have a lot in common with, okay? I do believe that you. this has to do with some sort of partnership. Uh, you may be worried because there's some sort of disappointment or some sort of hurdles, but I feel like you and this person, whoever they are, um, are on the same path. You're, you're in alignment with each other, and I do feel like you are going to be making an agreement with this person, okay? some sort of agreement this person whoever this person is that you're dealing with feels the same way that you do fool new beginning starting from scratch uh, this is exciting this is an exciting opportunity it's an exciting time uh, starting a new journey, so you are at a you have a new beginning here, where uh, you're probably going to need to leave some baggage behind when the fool starts the journey. They don't take anything with them, just the experiences. It's time to start over. So I do believe that you have a new beginning here with somebody uh, that you may be disappointed in. I feel like this person and you are going to start from scratch in some way. You're going to start over. Um, this is the beginning of a new life, the beginning of a new journey. Um, it's it's really exciting, put it that way. This is look at this as a beautiful time to pave a new path. Anyhow, um, a new phase is beginning for you with a partner that you are in alignment with. If this isn't somebody new and you're worried, you're worried about some sort of struggle, you know, uh, you, you, you know who this person is, put it that way. I don't feel like this is somebody brand new. It could be. It could be with that Fool card. It could be somebody brand new. It could be. But this is starting from scratch, starting from the very beginning starting over uh, with a partner that you are in alignment with. So that's the way it goes. 
You see eye to eye with this person. Faith. You need to have faith and trust. Faith is going to be needed during this time because I feel like this, is, this isn't going to be easy. I feel like it's really, really, really not going to be easy. Hold on, I'm going to get it. I'm going to read it. This card illustrates the poetic words of the Indian poet and sage uh, Rabindrana, Rabindrana Tagore. Faith is the bird that feel that feels the light and sings when the dawn is da is still dark. A small child wearing a traditional mourning veil stands in the foreground. She symbolically waits in the shadows for dawn to break with the promise of a new tomorrow. The leafy boughs frame the silhouette of a solitary songbird as it cheerfully pronounces the coming of dawn. There are times when we too feel like we're in the shadows of unknowing, when our faith in the divine purpose has been shaken by suffering, sadness, and the fragility of the humanness. Yet it is often that these wake-up calls that initiate new growth and a willingness to seek out answers to the deeper meaning of life in mysteries of our own divinity. So it's these it's these times where we seek out, we seek out the answers through divinity. Whether we see it or not, the connecting force of divine love is fully operational every second of every day. Faith is the enduring ballast that connects us to the unseen and gifts our hearts with the eyes to see when our minds cannot. Many predicaments cause us to question our faith, leading to feelings of injustice and victimization when life does not always reward our best endeavors. <clears throat> Sorry. The presence of this card beckons you to remember the bigger picture by exercising faith in the face of adversity, there's gonna, there is some sort of adversity here, and you're need, to, you're gonna need to not give up. Do not give up. Reflect on times you have previously lacked faith, and found precious gifts hidden within the obstacles. I knew there was gonna be obstacles. You may also notice how faith was rewarded, even though you could not see it at the time. Hindsight can help unearth valuable lessons and show how the higher power is revealed to us because of life's challenges, not in spite of them. These challenges are going to bring you closer together with somebody. That's what's going on. It's the challenges and the obstacles that bring growth within partnerships. So I do believe that you are going to be starting from scratch or starting over with a partner after a period of challenge, okay? This may be somebody brand new. It could also be somebody that you are already dealing with and there's been some sort of disappointment. You need to have faith and trust. Have faith and trust that everything is happening for a reason. Um, there is a strong connection here with somebody. This person and you... Um, have the same values. You're probably a lot alike. What do we have for Virgo? <clears throat> could be dealing with an Aries. And that's an Aries. I consider that an Aries. It doesn't have to be. What do we have for Virgo? Three of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that is having a lot of regrets. They are really in a, this is extreme regrets over a loss of a friendship or loss of a partnership or a third party situation. I feel like this is a termination. Um, parting ways, somebody is very, I feel like distraught over parting ways or over losing something. They've been thinking about it a lot. They're really struggling with their ego. 
they're struggling with um, opening up, they may be trying to prove a point. Um, we have somebody here that needs to find their ability to look at things from a new perspective and be open-minded. Um, I feel like there's grieving over a loss here, so I think that I think that there's there's probably some tears that has been shed. Could be over a third party, a choice that someone has made. Um, but I do see a termination of that third party. I think that there's a going, I feel like there's a separation here or a breakup that is coming. Somebody has been hanging on to something. Uh, gaining a new perspective and, and having a lot of uh, despair it feels like regrets, honestly. Um, I feel like there's there could be a reunion here that is coming up. Um, and I also feel like this is beginning to realize, beginning to realize that there's still an opportunity. I think that there's been some deep sadness here over, maybe it's over a breakup or a separation or a parting of ways, which has caused somebody to go within and reflect, okay? Somebody has really gone within to reflect on, you know, who they are and they're gaining a new perspective right now um, because there's been some sort of parting of ways. Hierophant. I think that uh, Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with Pisces as well. Uh, somebody's been hanging on to a situation where there's a lack of, well, it doesn't look like there's any love there. Um, this is a broken marriage. I feel like we do have an end of a commitment here. Um, Non-committal, no faith, no trust. Um, having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Um, so I feel like we have somebody here that is hanging on to something for s social reasons, you know, they because of social pressure. I think there's some sort of uh, well, there's deep sadness with that five of cups reversed over a breakup or a separation. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the hero font reversed is no commitment, uh, no marriage, uh, breakup. Being controlled, somebody is being controlled. There's control issues here. And it could be controlled by social pressure. Three of Cups reversed. That is lack of emotional growth, third party situation, parting ways from a commitment. If you have been waiting for somebody to part ways from something that they are committed to, that could certainly be happening. Three of Cups reversed is parting ways from a friendship or a relationship where there's no commitment. There's no commitment. No, maybe there's no long-term commitment. We have somebody here that has been, uh, we got, it's interesting because the three of three of cups basically twice here and they're, they're, it's like they've been focusing on an emotionally draining situation and moping and holding on, um, trying to prove that it was going to work. And maybe it's because of society. I do feel like it's because of society. Anyhow, um, Ace of Wands reverse, no growth, something going south. We have a commitment that is going south. We also have somebody here that doesn't, isn't very spiritual, you know, that isn't very connected. They're not very connected to their higher power or to the higher power. They don't listen to any advice or they may have received some poor, poor advice from friends or family. This is a friends or family card. And it's like there's, there's uh, no growth, no excitement, no passion. We have somebody here that I feel like is in a passionless commitment or a passionless marriage. 
This is a new perspective is coming, thinking about it a lot. Somebody is thinking about something. They do see another opportunity. They have an opportunity. They, they realize, I feel like there's a moment here. It's almost like there's a moment of realization that there is another opportunity here. Interesting. Um, wait, this is a struggle, okay? The hangman is a struggle. You're probably going to need a new perspective. You are. You're going to need to look at things from a new perspective here. Somebody may need time, okay? I don't know where that's coming from. They may need time. Three of Pentacles. That is togetherness, teamwork, working together with somebody that, you know, where there's mutual respect. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Cups. So, yes, I feel like, I feel like, uh... There is a union here. There's a partnership. This is definitely an opportunity for love. We have an independent, successful, abundant, self-sufficient individual who has been working really, really hard. Um, just enjoying their life, doing very, very well. Uh, learning new things, doing new things. A need to adapt. You're going to need to adapt to a change. I feel, I feel like we have an independent person here that uh, is getting into a partnership, is looking at a union. This is somebody that is very self-sufficient and independent and hardworking and abundant. This is an entrepreneur or a business owner or somebody that has is just very comfortable with who they are. This person is looking at a partnership. And there's going, and this is teamwork, togetherness, working together with somebody, creating something, creating a, a, a partnership, creating a masterpiece. It takes time. I feel like time, time. I want to tell you time. It takes time. So that's why, probably why you need to have faith. There is somebody here that is struggling right now. They are struggling. They are in a passionless situation where there's no growth. Passionless uh, commitment of some sort and they're grieving they're grieving over something what are they grieving over what do they want it feels like this person is they may be obsessed with society you know what what is everybody gonna say what is everybody gonna say I think that you are going to be working with somebody uh, that you have a lot in common with, I think that this is a perfect match. And you're going to need to look at this person from a new perspective. Okay, you're going to need to be open-minded. And I think that's where the struggle lies because I feel like uh, you, you may, maybe you're set on thinking a certain way and you need to look at something from a new perspective try to put yourself in their shoes anyhow um five of cups reversed is beginning to realize the truth having in, in faith faith have faith have faith something may not be growing we have a commitment that may not be growing right now but if you could look at something from a new perspective everything would change you need to work together with this person you need to be open-minded you need to compromise i feel like you need to compromise because whoever you're dealing with is a perfect match for you i mean this is a perfect match it is There could also be an increase in money this month, okay? Uh, and this could even have to do with your job. Some of you may be making an agreement that uh, boosts up your bank account. You know, you may be aligning with somebody that, you know, you get a raise or, or something like that. You may have to learn some new skills, but I feel like... Uh, 
if you can be open minded and allow your and maybe this is about being taught allow yours are, are you teachable right can you be taught have faith and trust in new beginnings and doing stepping into uncharted territory doing something that you've never done before this is risky the fool takes a risk i feel like you're gonna need to take a risk because this does lead to abundance you have an abundant offer here or an opportunity here to partner. And this is with two people, okay, to partner, you and another person, to partner up with somebody. Okay, this is a union that you are very compatible with and it can bring you a lot of abundance. Okay, more than you even thought because we got the Nine of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles here. That even goes above the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this can bring, there's a, there's a partnership here that can bring you a lot of comfort. It can bring you a lot of uh, abundance, extreme abundance. But you're, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be, it's going to, you're going to, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. You know, it's going to take a lot of hard work and you may have to learn new things and that may mean that you have to change your your mindset. You can't be so stubborn. The 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 hangman is extremely stubborn. Okay? I feel like uh you need to let something go. But that hangman, you're hanging on to and it, and I think it's a it's a mindset, honestly. I do. I feel like it's a mindset. Be open minded. And I know I keep saying that because it's something you really need to hear this month. You have an opportunity for extreme abundance here. And it it, it is and I feel like it's partnering up with somebody that uh it probably has something to teach you. You know, we all have lessons to learn in this life. And maybe it's patience. I feel like you've lost faith in, in a commitment. Because you feel like it's not growing. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with, whether whatever this commitment is, or this partnership, they feel the same way you do about everything. They're losing faith too, but they love you, whatever that means. I mean, oh, they do love you. Ah, Knight of Cups, okay? So whoever this person is, and whether it's job or whatever, this person loves you, okay? This, per this person is, this is uh, a lover. This is somebody that is looking for something emotionally fulfilling. They are going to be making an approach. They are going to be making an advance. They are going to be headed in your direction if they're not already. This is somebody that is very charming. They're going to be acting on their feelings. They may be even giving you a gift, giving you an invite. They may be inviting you somewhere, making a proposal, making you an offer. I feel like... Uh, we have somebody here that um, this person is forgiving. I feel like they are warm and friendly and they are going to be headed in your direction with some sort of emotional opportunity. Love. Okay. Some, an offer that you are going to love. Okay. This is something that is going to lead you into a partnership that is very compatible. I think that you are, there's romance here. There is some sort of romance here. There's love here. There's abundance here. Um, but the struggle, the struggle to change your perspective is the biggest problem. Be open-minded to this offer that is coming. I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer that is going to, uh, maybe if, if you're independent, may threaten your independence. Say you're single. If you're single and you're watching this, you're getting an offer of love that, you know, you have to really, 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 really think about. You could, you know, whether you want to be in this partnership or not. And you can meet this person through a job or a get-together. You know, there could be some sort of get-together you're at. Um, meeting. Maybe you're at some sort of meeting, you know. Um, you meet this person through that meeting if you haven't met them already um either way we have a very stable secure individual here that is already enjoying their life just enjoying their life you know living the good life uh 
that has a very loving offer that is coming their way. And I feel like there's a lot of what ifs, you know, what if it never happens? I'm never going to get a commitment, you know, and there's sadness over parting ways with a previous commitment and there's no faith and trust and there's no growth and there's no spark or there's no passion and what, but whatever. I do feel like there's a new opportunity here. Absolutely. We have a starting over. This is starting over from scratch, stepping into unknown territory, taking a risk, and you need to have faith. This reading is about faith. So you're, I feel like you're going to be meeting up with somebody that you are meant to partner up with. And I feel like that this is, this is a, Oh, what is it? It's beautiful. Okay. It's, it's a partnership that you have the same values with, right? You, you have the same, uh, well, shared values. I mean, what more do I need to say? This is a perfect match. You're going to see eye to eye with this person if, and it is an if, if you can be open-minded, you know, but I feel like, I feel like, it, I honestly feel like, uh, this biggest struggle is letting go of your independence with, you know, are you ready to give up your independence and commit? Good luck.